Welcome to my class. This video will give you a short introduction to how the class looks and feels. When you log into Moodle, this is the first screen that you will see. There are several items to pay attention to on this screen. My class is, first of all, menu driven. Each link in each of the blocks takes you to a location in the class. You can see your course number at the very top of the class and the course number also includes your section. I made this video using the H1 class as a reference. Your section will be something else, but you can see it every single time you log into the class. You have no reason not to know what class you're in. The administration block on the left is pretty much useless, but the latest news block will give a link to the last three announcements that have been posted in the class. However, if you want to get to some of the other announcements, the older announcements, then you can always get back to the older announcements by clicking the link in the menu for announcements. The quick mail link is a shortcut to sending me an email and it is sending an email, not receiving. You can send me an email from Moodle, but you cannot receive email in Moodle. So you need to log into your email to get my reply. The course summary is simply letting you know what the class is all about. And the yellow blocks are letting you know what is now the current emphasis of the class. Work on those things and get them done by the due date that's listed in each of the blocks. The yellow will turn to dark brown when the due date passes, and the next block will then turn yellow. I do this manually so I can be a day or two behind in changing the color, but the actual module will be available a week, a week ahead of time, so it's already ready for you to work on. Get her done. The course information section contains links to all kinds of data about this class, like the syllabus. We'll look at that in just a minute. The top right of the class has your name, not my name like it shows here. It'll have your name, and when you click it, your name, you will get a drop-down menu. And this is what the drop-down menu looks like. You can reach your grades from here. You can reach your profile from here and check your email to make sure it's the correct email. You can go to your dashboard from here and pick another class to go into and preferences as well as logging out. There is another little link here called messages. Oh, please do not use messages. Use the quick mail link or go into email and send me email. Do not send me messages from this link. I can't drop it out. I wish I could. They are untrackable, untraceable with no ability to prove that you sent me anything. You could say, well, I sent you a message. Well, I can't you cannot prove that you sent me a message. You can prove you sent me an email because you have it in your sent email folder. So always send emails, not messages. Now, uh, let me take you to the first day activities section where there are very important items for you to accomplish on the very first day. This is the first day activities section. Notice there are only two things that you need to do. You must complete the icebreaker discussion as soon as possible. If you do not post at least once in the icebreaker before the 10% date, you will be dropped from the class. Federal regulations require a student to actively participate in a graded assignment by the 10% date or be removed from the class. So get her done. There is also a link in this section called the first day activities. When you click it, you will be sent to another location where you will be able to see a bunch of information about this class, read the information, watch the videos of which this is one of them. So you may already be there, but I also email the link to this video before class starts. So you may be watching it before you ever even get into the class. If you're watching it from my email, you can skip it when you get to that step. Here is what the first day activities look like. Notice three dots at the bottom indicating that there is more than I could fit on this screen. Notice also it starts with step two because step one is this video and I didn't need to put it on the screen. So step two is a video about first impressions. Watch that first impressions video because I will ask you to give your thoughts about it later. 
Step three is to post the icebreaker discussion. Remember, go to the icebreaker, get it done as soon as possible. Step four, I'm going to pass for a minute and I'm going to come back to that. Step five tells you to check your email settings to be sure they're correct by going up into the profile and looking at your profile. Step six asks you to send me an email and include a host of items, one of which is your impression of the first impression video. So you have to to have watched the first impression video before creating the email, which includes your impression of the first impression. <laughs> Get that. So there are a few other things on this page. Be sure to visit it. Going back to step four on the main menu, you need to click on the course information link. When you do it, you'll be taken to the section of the class called course information. And here is what that course information documents and instructions looks like. Most students are interested in the grading policy, of course. Check it out when you get there. Notice on the right side of the screen there are little boxes. When there's a check mark in the box, it means you've completed that item. The items on this page are completed by simply opening them and reading them. You do not have to remember which ones you opened and read because they'll be checked when you've done so. Keep opening each and reading the material until they are all checked. 99% of all questions related to the course that students ask are answered here. Back at the main menu, this first week of classes, you will see two items in yellow. Depending on the type of course, a 16-week, 14, 12, or 10-week class, which we teach all different types, you will see various yellow blocks as we wind our way through the semester. For 16-week classes, there is usually only one block per week, but for 14, 12, and 10-week semesters, there can be two yellow blocks per week. You can also see the due dates, which will give you a clue as to which will be yellow at the same time. You can plan your semester by this menu's due dates, as well as by the schedule that's listed in the course information section. Let me take you to the first lecture module, Unit 1, and show you what it looks like. Here we are at Unit 1. There are three colored blocks with information and links to more information. Each and every module will look like this. The top orange colored block will contain links to the textbook chapters for this particular module. And notice this one has two links because we are covering both history and science of psychology in this first unit. And yes, the textbook is free and online. The middle yellow block contains the objectives of this section. I'm going to skip the last bottom blue block for a minute and come back to it. First, I want to show you that after the blocks, there may be links to extra material that I want you to review. There's also a link to a PowerPoint for this unit and a link to a PDF quiz. The PDF quiz is extremely important. Print the quiz answer the questions on the paper and keep it for your reference. The black line separates the top of the unit from the bottom of the unit. You can see there are three dots that indicate that not everything fits on this page. So let's go to the bottom of the unit and look and see what's there. Here we are at the bottom of the unit, the big black line. You can see now what's below it. It is your graded homework. Graded homework is always one quiz and sometimes also a discussion. In this first unit, you can see there are both. The quiz is a duplication of the printed PDF quiz I just told you to print out an answer. You can copy the answers from the PDF paper quiz to the online quiz and then submit it. You will immediately get feedback about which questions you got correct and which ones you got wrong. Mark the wrong answers on your PDF paper printout and find a better answer. Then take the quiz again and keep repeating this process until you get all of them correct. Yes, you can take the quiz as often as you want all semester long. It is open all semester. Your highest grade counts. Once you have 100% on a quiz, do not stop taking it. You can set aside your PDF paper then and take the quiz as often as you wish to test yourself. Do you really know the material? Take the quiz without any help and you'll see how much you truly know. 
Once you have 100% on the quiz, no other grade you make matters. The 100% sticks. You can fail it, and it will not change your grade. But it might change your mind about how well you know the material and let you know that you need to study a little bit more. Now let's take a look at the blue box. Inside the blue box are links to my online transcribed lectures. What are they, you ask? Well, here is what the lectures look like. This is where you will find all the videos and pictures and other related content for learning the material for your tests. At the bottom of the lecture is an audio of me as I give the lecture, like an audiobook. The written material is scrollable. It is long, and I have included pictures and videos within it. It also fits on a phone, tablet, or computer, any size screen. So you can read the lectures, just listen to it, or read along while you listen to me give the lectures. For my students with ESL, English as a Second Language, this may help you on two fronts. It may help you learn English and learn the material too. At the bottom of the page, you will see either a list of numbers or the words previous and next. This is the way to scroll through the lectures. Each lecture is between 15 and 25 minutes in length. You can see that this Introduction to Psychology lecture has four pages. Some have as much as eight. The science lecture, which is also part of the first week's material, is another four pages. At the top of the page is another link to the free textbook, which is provided by OpenStax, which is a nonprofit ed tech initiative based at Rice University. It's a nice text, but has a few deficiencies. So be sure to read or listen to my lectures to get all the materials you will be tested on in this class. Above that link is another audio file. When I find some song that is pertinent to the lecture, I place it on this page. Many are funny, some are sad, all are entertaining. I can only legally put up 30 seconds of the song, so sorry about that. The top right of the page includes links for some games. The crossword puzzles are all completed, but do not work on the phone as of 2019. You need a tablet or a computer to play the crosswords. The hangman and the flash cards are working. The programs are working, but only a few are completed with content as of 2019. I will be working to put in the content for those as fast as I can. On phone screens, those items actually appear in a drop-down single selection because screen space is at a premium on the phone. If I ever add any more games, I'll probably have to put a drop-down menu for computers and tablets as well. As of 2019, I'm still working on a few of the lectures. When all the lectures are transcribed and recorded, I'll put my energy into finishing the games. At the top left are three bars. Those bars are a link to the menu for this web page. When you click on it, you will find the selections for all the different content within this class. You can click any one of those and be directly placed in that particular web page. That's it. Have fun this semester. I look forward to interacting with you in class or online.